testable and non-testable acceptance criteria. So in this ISTQB Agile Tester Certification tutorial, we are going to learn what is acceptance criteria and how you can define testable acceptance criteria. The other thing we are going to discuss is how you can differentiate between testable and non-testable acceptance criteria so that you can come up with the testable acceptance criteria or you can provide input to the person or the business analyst who has written the story to ensure that there is an acceptance criteria in the user story that is testable. Now, if we go by definitions of acceptance criteria, so acceptance criteria are the set of statements, each with the clear pass fail result. So when you get a user story from your, from your business analyst, he documents the requirements that are in form of user story and the requirements come from the discussion from the stakeholder or the business people to understand what exactly they are looking for to build. Now business analyst then articulates those requirements in terms of in form of user stories and he provides or he writes the acceptance criteria into clear pass fail um, results. So he'll mention what actions need to be performed by the user uh, when that user when that user story is built uh, as a working software and if those actions are performed then whether they should pass or fail so for example uh, say let's take an example of a login functionality when you are building a login functionality using google credentials um, say you are using your google credentials uh, to log in into the admin portal if that is the functionality functionality that has been built by the development team and you're testing that functionality what will be the clear pass fail criteria for that so the pass criteria acceptance criteria could be when i use my valid username valid google username and password to register myself or to log in myself on that um, admin portal I should be able to log in successfully the other acceptance criteria should be um, clearly indicating when this login should fail so if I'm using invalid username username and password um, then the uh, login should fail so this is a, a brief example of how the acceptance criteria might be written in that particular user story now if we go by the definitions of Microsoft and Google of acceptance criteria Microsoft defines acceptance criteria as the conditions um, that a software product must satisfy to be accepted by a user, customer or other stakeholder. So it's pretty simple. The conditions that need to be defined in the software or in the user story, um, when that user story is built and working software is available, then whether those conditions are met for the user customer or stakeholder or not so that's uh, the simple definition that Microsoft defines Google defines acceptance criteria as pre-established standards or requirements a product or project must meet so it's it's a pre pre-established standard so when you are building a user story when you are defining a user story what are the pre-established standards that you are looking for to build in that user story whether um, you you are looking for uh, a valid login login using your Google username and password and that's one of the criteria uh, invalid username and password should fail so these are some of the predefined or pre-established standards that you are defining in your user story as an acceptance criteria now the other thing to note is there is there is no partial acceptance criteria it is either met or it is either not met so whatever criteria are being defined in the user story unless and until all of them are met you can't say that acceptance criteria has been met so everything that is defined uh, or pre-established standard has to be, uh, be met completely only then you can say acceptance criteria has been met now let's go ahead and see what are text testable and non-testable acceptance criteria 
when an acceptance criteria is being defined by the business analyst as an agile tester or as a tester in an agile project your responsibility is to go through the acceptance criteria go through the user story um, in, get involved in the discussion and ensure that all the acceptance criteria and the details men mentioned in the user story are testable and if they are not you need to ask questions to clarify uh, the details so that any non-testable acceptance criteria becomes testable acceptance criteria let's see some of the examples of testable and non-testable acceptance criteria and how you can identify what is it testable and what is not testable so if you can see on the in the in the table on this page you can see testable criteria is login page should load in less than two seconds right so here it is clearly indicated when you're launching a login page then it should load in less than two seconds so there is a time limit mentioned as a criteria that gives you a clear indication what time or within what time the login page should appear for the user now if there is an acceptance criteria defined something like login page should load quickly so you don't know uh, with this word quickly you don't know whether it's two seconds whether it's five seconds ten seconds what does quickly mean when the business analyst has defined this acceptance criteria as login page should lo load quickly so if this is something that you notice in the user story you raise a question what exactly you mean by quickly whether it's two seconds five seconds ten seconds and then these discussions clarify what exactly um, is required to change this non-testable acceptance criteria to a testable one so that you can actually go ahead and see what is the performance based on the baseline or the acceptance criteria mentioned the other criteria is system should be available 24 by 5 so system should not go down 24 by 5 so monday to friday 24 hour system should be up and running the other criteria which is non-testable for the same requirement could be system should be available always so always could be 365 by 7 right so um, um, 365 24 7 so uh, so it's like all the year round um, the system should be available but if the business requires the system to be available only 24 by 5 or Monday to Friday 24 hours then you have to get it clarified so anywhere that you see always quickly or anything that is not well defined in terms of performance or um, that cannot be tested um, then you raise a question and clarify that the other criteria is a person with doctor role can access a patient file right so here we are talking about the role uh, that yes which role should be able to access patient file now the similar criteria could be mentioned like user should be able to access patient file so in this criteria when when it says user should be able to access patient file it's not clear which user um, the uh, which user uh, they are talking about or which user uh, is defined in the acceptance criteria of the user story so it has to be clearly defined role when when there is a functionality to access patient file that which user should be allowed to access patient file and which user should not be allowed to access the patient file um, so there shouldn't be any ambiguity in defining the acceptance criteria and if there is any then you need to clarify with the business analyst and stakeholders to come up with the clear testable acceptance criteria so with these examples I'm, um, I hope that you are clear with the testable and non-testable acceptance criteria thank you